Hi folks, let's just take a quick look at how to convert SVG shape files to Cricut format on Affinity Designer for iPad. The, the solution will work the same on the desktop, but I'm using the iPad for this one. Now this does not cover all SVG files. This is just one solution to one problem. So the first thing is to add some shapes um, to your Affinity Designer uh, palette. It doesn't matter what size files in this case, but all SG, SVG files are shapes. But uploading them to the Cricut Design Space can give you endless problems with positioning the shapes, as you can see there. That green ring should be inside the blue area, and the pink or pinkish ring should be across to the right a little bit. Now that's not the way it looks on Affinity Designer. But how do you solve this? If you drag out the shapes, then export it as an SVG and upload it to Design Space, the images will be misplaced. The shapes will be misplaced, as you just saw. So how to fix it? And you can see the three layers there with the three different shapes in it. Now I've changed the circular shape to yellow here. Select all the shapes, then select Convert to Curves from the Command menu. Note the yellow donut is actually two shapes, so it's actually curves, the plural. Now this is a little bit of a trick when you come to it later on, because you're dealing with two curves there. Now this bit requires a degree of care. Select the Node tool in your Affinity Designer workspace. Select the Node tool from the interface and selecting each layer in turn so that you highlight the particular um, shape you're working on, just touch the pen tip to the shape border. You'll see a node appear. In most shapes, the square and the circle you just touch it on the border and you'll see one node appear. You may see more. Now do the inner and outer edges of the donut shape. There are two shapes there, remember. Just touching it will show the little blue nodes. You can see the little blue dots there. You touch it once in the center and those little blue dots come up around the shape. Don't do anything else. Just move to the next shape and repeat the process. For example, go to the blue square in its layer, so it's selected. Touch the outer edge, so it's selected. Go to the layer with the pink circle in it, so that it's selected. Touch the outer edge, and you'll get the one single node there. Now that's all you have to do. Now export the design. Export it as an SVG. You can now safely export the design for uploading to the Cricut Design Space. Nothing special for export, just select SVG. The DPI is probably best set to 72 if you haven't done so already. And click on OK to export it. And then load it into the Cricut Design Space. Now you can see the samples I've got there. Note the first or lower design. This is a standard, unalterated SVG of the shapes. That's the first one I did before touching the node tool to the borders. You can see that the circles have been misplaced by the Design Space software. No idea why it does this. No way known that I can find to fix it. And it doesn't do it with all SVGs. So it's a kind of suck it and see situation. You can see the one with the yellow donut there. That's been touched by the node tool, so everything stays in place. And the same with the other ones. And there it is, imported into Design Space, in the Cricut Design Space software, which I might add runs fabulously well on the iPad as well as the desktop. Ready for cutting? Away you go. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Just remember all SVG files behave differently in Design Space. Some you can fix, some you can't.